It took only a year for Mark to start studying robotics and then develop an up-to-date project. I just saw that people needed help. I wanted to help somehow and created this robot. First we tested the camera, then made all the necessary connections. The body was made on a 3D printer. The project was named after its creator, Marco Bot. Now it has been improved. They have built-in motion sensors, an object recognition camera and a speaker. All those elements are controlled by artificial intelligence. Mark Obat is a universal robot brain. He knows how to recognize objects and, depending on the settings, reacts to them. Now, for example, he is attuned to faces and he will not recognize mine. It can work as a guard, but on another platform the Marco bot can even defuse an explosive device. Mark was helped by his teacher Haldun to improve the system to its current level. According to teacher, the whole secret is not to be afraid of mistakes. We won't learn anything if we make no mistakes. If we want to create robots or make a pure Ukrainian product, we need to invest in this generation now. They are young and talented, as I call them. With the support of the Kyiv Polytechnic Institute on the basis of Mark's project, a Hue bot was created. It's an android that represented Ukraine at the international IT exhibition in Lisbon. Many people think that an exhibition is just a task to go see a city, travel somewhere. In fact, the main task of the exhibition, which we pursued, is to show our team our project and find outside support. After we return to Kyiv, we sign a memorandum with a non-governmental organization from the Ministry for Digital Transformation. We will try to create new compatible projects. Thanks to the successful presentation of Hubot, universities and businesses from the UK, Denmark and Estonia became interested in the development. In future, this will make it possible to establish cooperation on student programs with international technical universities. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Danilo Kobza, UATV News.